Hi guys, let's solve the following equations together. We have 5 to the power of x plus 3 all over 25 to the power of 2x minus 3 is equal to 1. The second question is 2x to the power of minus 1 all over 2 is equal to minus 14. So in order to solve these questions, we need to apply laws of indices. Remember, solving an equation simply means finding the value of the alphabet that makes the left and the right sides equal. So let's solve the first one. Solution. We have 5 to the power of x plus 3 all over 25 to the power of 2x minus 3 is equal to 1. So the first thing we do is rewrite this whole arrangement. So we have 5 to the power of x plus 3 divided by 25 to the power of 2x minus 3 is equal to 1. So in this question, we can see that the variable we are looking for is an exponent. So in order to find the variable, we need to ensure that the bases are the same. Okay, so let's look here. The base here is 5, the base here is 25, and the base here is 1. So let's convert all the bases to 5. Let's look at 25. Can we convert 25 to a base of 5? Yes, we can do that because 25 is 5 to the power of 2. So we can simply write 5 to the power of x plus 3 divided by 5 to the power of 2 bracket 2x minus 3 is equal to, now we have 1 here. Can we convert 1 to a base of 5? Yes, we can. We can do that by applying the law of 0. The law of 0 states that any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. This means 5 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. True or false? True. So instead of having 1, we can simply replace it with 5. So we have 5 to the power of 0. Next, we need to bring these two bases together because the second law of indices states that when you are dividing two indices with the same base, all you need to do is subtract the second power from the first one. So this will give us 5 to the power of x plus 3 minus 2 multiplied by 2x is going to give us 4x and 2 multiplied by minus 3 is going to give us minus 6. So now we have a single base on the left is equal to 5 to the power of 0. So when you have the same base on both sides of the equation, all you need to do is equate the powers. So we can have x plus 3 minus 4x minus multiplied by minus is going to give us plus. So we have plus 6 is equal to 0. So bringing like terms together, x and minus 4 is going to x minus 4x is going to give us minus 3x plus 3 plus 6 is going to give us plus 9 is equal to 0. Next, in order to get the value of x, we move plus 9 to the right and the positive sign is going to change to negative. So minus 3x is equal to minus 9. So what do we do next? In order to get x, we divide both sides by minus 3. So this will be minus 3x divided by minus 3 is equal to minus 9 divided by minus 3. Minus 3x will cancel out minus 3x. So we have x is equal to minus divided by minus is plus, and 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. This means our value of x is equal to 3. So let's look at the second question. We have 2x to the power of minus 1 all over 2 is equal to minus 14. So in this second example, the variable is a base. Therefore, we ensure that we make the exponent to be equal to 1. So how do we make the exponent to be equal to 1? We can achieve that by multiplying the exponent by the inverse of the exponent. So we have on the left, the exponent is minus 1 all over 2. So multiplying it by its inverse will give us minus 2 all over 1. So this means we are going to multiply the two sides of the equation by minus over 1. So, but before we do that, we are going to divide both sides of the equation by 2 in order to eliminate these two here. So, divided by 2, divided by 2. So, we are going to have x to the power of minus 1 over 2 is equal to minus 7. So, at this point, we can multiply just as we said here. So, this will give us x to the power of minus 1 all over 2 
multiply by minus 2 all over 1 is equal to minus 7 to the power of minus 2 over 1. Remember, minus 2 over 1 is still the same thing as minus 2. So, but we are doing that just to show uh, the principle that says that you multiply by the inverse. So, 2 is going to cancel out 2 here. Minus multiplied by minus is going to give us plus. So, we have x to the power of 1, which you can remove, is equal to minus 7 to the power of minus 2. Okay? So, the next thing we do is to eliminate the negative at the exponent, which means we need to write the inverse. So, x is equal to 1 all over minus 7 to the power of 2. And then, what is minus 7 to the power of 2? Minus 7 to the power of 2 simply means minus 7 multiplied by minus 7. And when minus 7 multiplies itself, minus 7 multiplied by minus 7 is going to give us plus 49. So our value of x here is 1 all over 49. Very simple. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more mass content. See you in the next video. Bye.